Well, Hello. now that it's official, again, I, I can only say thank you. And one other important request, people ask me a lot of, you know, why do we buy these really expensive corrugated plastic signs? Because we buy, we, we, they're built to last. And I fully intended to win this primary, and I wanted signs that we could use all the way through into November. Yeah, so any signs you see, pick them up. Pick them up. And I'm going to politely request that our, yes, our, our, our friends on the other side of this primary return the signs that mysteriously vanished. <laughs> uh, but, you know, again, we're going to make this happen. And I talked to so many voters today who were actually Democrats voting in the Democratic primary who said, I'm sorry, I can't vote for you today. I can't yeah. wait for November. Oh, woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. And it's the issues that we started this campaign on. I just took a call from a guy at the News and Observer. He said, you know, are you going to do anything differently than you did in 2008? And the answer is quite honestly, no. We're going to win. <laughs> It's about jobs. It's about economic prosperity. It's about our ability to create our own jobs, our own businesses, doctors being free to take care of patients, farmers free to grow their own food. I mean, we're just losing so much of what makes our country the country that we want to leave to our children, and that's got to stop. And it's about an understanding that Washington does have a rule book. We gave out 50,000 copies in 2008. I think if we give out 100,000 copies in 2010. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be the harvest that I want to help reap in November, is when all these seeds we planted in 2008, combined with all the work that we're going to do over the summer, getting out there, talking to folks. And frankly, it's, it's about evangelizing. I was just talking with another gentleman who's running a, a, going to be running a competitive race for the General Assembly in the fall. And one thing that's great about our campaign is we do not just preach to the choir. We are out evangelizing and we are selling a message of principled government and we're trying to help people understand that, you know what, if you want to help poor people and you had an extra, an extra thousand dollars, would you give that thousand dollars to the federal government? No. Most people would say no. <laughs> and that's the issue. That's the problem. We all want a better future for our country, a better future for our kids. It's up to us to make that future a reality. We cannot outsource things we care about to the federal government in Washington. That's a failed strategy. So as we start to understand what it means to take on the burden of freedom, the responsibility of freedom, and take that back, this is not a message that starts right, you know, that, that ends right here in Wake County or even in the 4th District. This is a message whose time has come that is sweeping the nation. Yes, and I am so privileged to be a part of working on this incredible transformation that is a necessary transformation so that we can get this country in a direction that we can be proud to leave to our children. Thank you again for what you're doing. And God bless everybody.